Star Ocean has been on my mind ever since playing the two remake slash remaster on the Switch. I've gone back to the Switch version of First Departure, tried Steam Deck performance again on Star Ocean 6, with not very good results. But it also made me nostalgic for a prior game of the series, once claimed to never leave Xbox 360, but made its way to PlayStation and PC as well. So, let's see how the Steam Deck can run Star Ocean 4 The Last Hope Remastered. For some background info, The Last Hope is the first chronological Star Ocean game. It takes place hundreds of years before First Departure, where Earth is on the brink of destruction and humans must venture out into space to survive. Many of the characters here are connected to others in the series, but more of a little Easter egg, by the way, this is this character's ancestor. You don't need prior knowledge of the series to play for. Moving on to running it and performance. We don't have a lot to talk about here because you don't have to do anything for this game to run perfectly. Just launch it and it defaults to high settings and it's perfect right out of the box. On high, you get a perfect 60 FPS from start to finish, whether it's cutscenes, exploration, or battle. The only real drops you get are when you move from room to room. Whenever you load into a new area, you will get a split second of 35 to 45 FPS, though by the time you can actually control your character in the new area, it's back up at 60. Now, if it's already perfect, what if we turn up everything? Depth of field, vision, etc. There is a little bit of change here, but not much. Most of the time it still stays at a stable 60 FPS, but sometimes when you're going through certain battle animations, it will stutter and drop down to about 45. Still very smooth, but not perfect. That's all I really have to say about performance since we don't really have any trouble. Let's talk battery life then. On high brightness, Star Ocean 4 is going to get about three and a half hours out of the Steam Deck, while lower brightness will increase that to four hours. So, would I recommend Star Ocean The Last Hope Remaster to Steam Deck users? Absolutely. The combat's a bit slower than the first couple of games, but it's still a fun and beautiful RPG to trek through, especially since the deck can max everything out and still get a stable 60 FPS. And that's all I have for you today. I'll be back soon with more Steam Deck coverage, reviews, and more. As always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.